Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Beast Swarm Gaming and once again I am playing as the noob and the reason for this episode is as you can see on the left I am working on Bubble Trouble which is a mythic bear quest it is near the uh, beginning I think it's the second one but as you see in the middle let me pull this down it says stick bug will spawn within the next five minutes. Yes, this is, I believe, the second video for stick bug. And I am quite excited because stick bug will give me honey uh, at the very end, probably a couple royal jellies. Like I said, as a noob, every little thing helps you out. So noobs out there, don't miss an opportunity to pick stuff up. You know, I see noobs that have the same stuff every time I play you know they're not leveling up their bees they're not fighting commando chick they're not taking uh, opportunities that are presented to them you know I'll see noobs that say oh what's the point of fighting stick bug you know what's the point you know I'm not going to get an amulet anyway well you're not leveling up your bees how do you plan on fighting a um, stick bug or they'll say the same thing about like tunnel bear Oh, I was so close. I was so close, but I just didn't do it. I'm not making fun of anybody. Trust me. I'm not making fun of anybody. What I'm saying is that, you know, if something's not working, then you have to try something else. You know, there's a lot of um, cliche sayings. If you don't know what that means, it's basically the, saying the same thing, but just like in a different way. Right? Saying the same thing, but like in a different way. Um, so, what I'm saying is that if you're fighting Tunnel Bear and you can't beat him, then you go back in there and you try Stingers, right? Which I believe, okay, people kind of go to that, but. It's probably not the best thing to do, but it, it, it might work, right? It might work. And if you beat it the first time, you do get the special prize. Special prize meaning a gifted silver egg. That's pretty cool. But let's say after the first try, it doesn't work. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. If it didn't work the first time, don't do it again. Okay? So you might be thinking, okay, well, maybe it said I need another B. Maybe it, I need another B. Okay, once again, I'm going to go against that. That's probably not it. But you get another B. Most likely, it's probably not going to be the B that you want. But you do it anyway. Right? Let's go empty this out because it's probably going to start soon. And this dude is going to die. Noobs die pretty fast. In the stick bug challenge so you go get another bee and you try tunnel bear and let's say this one falls apart like all right i'm gonna go back to using the stinger no 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 don't it already didn't work and you got a new bee the new bee is probably not at the same level as your uh, other bees so your third option should be let me try to level up the other bees. But what you're doing is you're so focused on Tunnel Bear that you're thinking, I got to beat Tunnel Bear. And that should be like a goal. But this is my thinking, right? My thinking is when you're fighting Tunnel Bear, you know, obviously you can't do anything, right? It's your bees. Now, the first question that I ask people when they can't beat tunnel bear is let me guess things are starting off good right and then about halfway you start seeing things like your bee is going to sleep then it picks up another bee is going to sleep then it picks up some more another bee is going to sleep and before you know it about half your hive is going to sleep and usually I'll get a, yes, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, okay, so 
what that tells me is that your bees don't have enough energy. They shouldn't be going to sleep halfway through the fight. That they shouldn't. They don't have enough energy. So how do you get more energy to a bee? There's three ways. Three ways. The most uh, unpredictable way would be to mutate them. Yeah, that shouldn't be your. That should not be your first way. The uh, other ways is to do polar bear quests. A lot of people say polar bear is kind of lame, and he kind of is. But his quests are easy. But not only that, he increases the energy every time. I believe by like five percent. And you can actually do, I would say, polar bear quests. Um, maybe if you play on average maybe two or more uh, at a time, that's actually pretty good. I mean, just think about like the uh, amount of quests you can do. All right, we have a, we have a fighter here. We have a fighter here. So we might actually get to like a higher level and I could help take out uh, the totem poles, not get killed. Oh, let's try to jump in and out can get some stuff okay uh, oh man I am in the yellow now not cool not cool is there a tunnel pull there no nope. oh man Th these twig guys just love to jump on the weak okay so it's dead nope he's just hidden right now um, I'm not seeing any signs on like w where the totem pole is I can't be in the red for that long, or he is going to kill me. Uh, trapped again. And this guy just picks everything up. Okay. So we're going to the bamboo field now. And I think one of them is mine, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Anyway. So. Those are some of the things about getting... Oh man, this guy's a sniper. Oh yeah, he's just sniping things. I think I know who it is. He's a really cool guy. I don't know how he got his speed up that fast. Uh, I think probably in his uh, amulets, he, he focused on speed. And that's actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, you're giving up on s some things, but speed is a good thing to have. Um, my personal opinion, and this once again is just mine because there is no quote unquote right way to play the game is if you have tokens that could uh, increase your speed I would rather do that because uh, this is one of those games where you actually don't need a lot of like fast speed you, you know um and of course when you get better boots they're going to give you faster than average as uh, speed right so that's why with amulets like the ant a amulet, uh, their speed as a stat, with other things, their speed as a stat. Unless there's a attack attached to it, I generally dismiss them. Oh man, I'm back into the orange now, just walking through. Okay, let's see. Gotta be very selective where I walk. I see gumdrops, I'm gonna try to get them. All right, all right. So now we're to Cloverfield. I'm at 274,000. That is a high score for me. So I'm already at a high score. Is it because there is someone strong, or could it be that my defense is up? So I'm not like dying. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! It like just dropped like right on me. Just dropped right on me. Do I need to use a micro converter? No, I'm not going to waste a micro converter. Nope, I am not. Okay, so there is a defense totem somewhere. Where is the defense totem? Let's see if we can find it really quick. No, I don't see it. defense in dandelion field. Okay, so this is where noobs can help because noobs probably can't pick up anything. No, dandelion totem, duh. Oh man, D dude, the dude's already he here. Hey. Go fight, go, go, go. Don't fight him. 
go, go fight the big guy. You are the big dog in this fight. You don't need to take this down. Let me take this down. You go fight. But see, what he's doing is he wants all this stuff. Huh. I got some stuff too. But you need to fight him. See, because that's what you do. When you're fighting this, it's not just a individual thing. It's a team thing. It's a team thing. That's what you do. Like when I fight um, Stick Bug, if, if I actually have the amulet that I like, I will I will tell the team that I will um, take care of the defense totems. You know. Or just sometimes that's like what I'll do is I will uh, save these things sometimes for the noobs, you know, because I don't need more of, uh, of the uh, honey money. See, uh, I just died because I can get honey money like on my own. But for like a, a noob, this might be a good chance for them to get as much instant honey money to, like as possible. And of course, if, uh, okay, defense told me somewhere else. All right, it's down here. All right. I can't take it down fast, but there's really not much I can do up there. And one of my missions is to actually kill the beetle too. So I got one beetle. Okay, so let's see how fast I can take this down. All right, so Stickbug is a very interesting character. Stickbug is a character that, oh, good, I got some gifts, and I got gumdrops. Now, remember, gumdrops are important because they make glue. A lot of people, in my experience, make glue late. They make the glue late. Why do they make the glue late? They make the glue late because then they start saying, oh, man. I need 250 glue for uh, the gummy mask. It's like, ah, oh, well, that's really not that hard. Glue takes a lot. And somebody once said to me, you, you know, it'd be great. It'd be great if on it had a had a uh, purchasing pack of for, for for glue. Like you could buy glue, you know, like you don't have to craft it or anything. Yeah, that would be cool. But then, what would be the point of um, th this game? I mean, th that would be like being able to purchase uh, th the stuff that people hate to purchase. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. It'd be like uh, purchasing things that you would hate to grind. You know, I think there is a defense totem up at, uh, at Stump. And I think the person up at Stump is the AFK. Yes. So he's already been, been bringing this down. Okay. So, once again, this is a noob's job. So all you noobs out there who are going to be doing a stick bug, this is my recommendation. You're not going to bring down um, that much to the snail. And you're going to, ha 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 ha, I took all of that stuff. Yes, and now I'm almost at half a million. See, you should be down there taking this guy out. You have the tools for it. My bees aren't going to do much, and I'm probably going to die like again. And you know, or you should know, that once Stickbug dies, I believe you get like a pretty good boost in your score. And since... I don't see you uh, up there. I'm gonna try to get uh, my last prize. 16 seconds. I don't think it's going to happen, but let's uh, see what we can do. Plus, I have to be down here like anyway. It's not gonna. It's not going to happen. Two, one, zero. Final score: 515. Three royal jellies and 17 gumdrops. Two things that I need. Excellent. Alright everybody, you saw the noob doing the stick bug challenge.